So what do you make of Alan Podgy being appointed Sunderland Manager? He's being appointed. Podgy, right? Eh? Ex-Newcastle Manager. I don't believe it. No, not for me. No, not happy with us? No, not for me. Definitely not for me. It's <laughs> Ex-Newcastle Manager, didn't no, have a group. No, no. I'm here with uh, new Sunderland Manager. Uh, David Jones. David Jones. What do you make of the, uh, the recent speculation about Alan Podge being the new son manager? I think it's uh, at the moment it is just speculation, isn't it? Until we get something in right and more concrete, then we didn't know. He was, he's been before and he managed before and it didn't work out too well. Maybe he does deserve a second chance. This is down to. You think know, Alan Podge deserves a second chance he had something? Probably. I mean, anybody at the minute, it's got to be. I mean, you're saying as a draw, David Jones, a new manager, maybe I'm worth a chance. You know? <laughs> Why I? Get someone who like Simon Grayson sacked the other night. What do you make the bookies' favourite joke in yeah? Great. I mean, Alan Pardew will be the next son of manager. <laughs> uh, Alan, I thought it was Peter Reid. Peter Reid's now the favourite. What do you make the announcement of Joe Kenya going to be the next son of manager? <laughs> joke. I didn't know about it, to be honest. I think the best choice would have been Peter Reid and Kevin Phillips. We've heard that bring back Peter Reid. Is that who you like to see? Yeah, because he did. I was, I actually was a regular supporter then. I had a season ticket when, when I was five year old. And it was when they moved here. Um, that's when I decided to stop going, but joking here. Did a shocking doubt job. cares about the club we're talking about? The Red Lion pub down there, like uh, John Smith's been there a few years, he's won a couple of, couple of local titles, you know, someone who cares about the club, Aye. passionate. Somebody who has got a passion for the team, somebody who does give a damn about what the team thinks, what the fans are losing, when they're losing. Excited about Alan Pardew. I suppose, in my honest opinion, I obviously wouldn't have Alan Pardew been new as a manager before, but I would give it to someone like. Peter Reid maybe at the end of the season with Kevin Phillips would be nice. Peter Reid's still alive? I think so. <laughs> it's gone. Michael Trapper's link will come back. Is he? Oof, I've never heard that one. Like, but that could be a good move. Could be a good move. I mean, leadership wise. Michael Trapper, huh? really? Could be. I mean, hey, you, you never know. Anybody, Michael Trapper, I pulled you back second time around. Anybody could be. Anybody's got it worth a go. I mean, you can watch the local lads. John Smith? Going like you said, got the John Smith, the Red Lion, watch them lads when they're playing football. There's not many people are coming yeah, here anymore. They care, they care about the team, they love, you know. The Sunderland girls team are outperforming Sunderland boys team, what's that about? You know? So maybe it's time to bring the girls on. Yeah. Get the lasses on. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that's, a, that's the way to do it. Anybody inside the stadium of light? You take joking here? Anybody. Anybody? My main favourite would be Peter Reid. Ah, you want Peter Reid back? Bring him back to the stadium of light. Be a lot better, bring the club back up to hopefully to the Premier League. And the potential investors of Poundland? Uh, uh, <laughs> McDonald's next for it. It's only sponsored by McDonald's. Yeah. KFC. <laughs> well, the, well, the link is that to get like, the fans back and the atmosphere back, that they'll give like pound seats away. Pound seats away, I think you're that there. Uh, well, I cracked a joke a long time ago of saying they're letting in, they're in the ground for free, but you have to pay to get back out. Maybe that's, maybe that's, <laughs> that's, that's a bit more realistic, isn't it? That's, that's a bit more realistic, isn't it? <laughs> Let you in for now, but you have to pay to get back out. Because that way you'll have the fans in the ground. <laughs> There's one way to keep them out of it. For the full 90 minutes, people actually need to stay. Aye. Not the gate, you're not getting out. <laughs> <laughs> Joking, yeah? Joking. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, honestly, I, I don't know, I'm here, if I'm honest with you. It's, just, it's a sad state of affairs at the minute. Um, it's not a good time to be a Sunderland fan. I don't think anyone's enjoying it. I'm not really enjoying it. I've, I went to one game this season, I went to Sheffield United, left after 10 minutes. Really? Oh, it was terrible, mate. <laughs> and I like to sponsor five pound line, why not? It's, you know, it's a money million empire, isn't it? You know, about people in the phone shop. You know, you're spending the phone shop, you see 30, 40 people, and they're spending 20 and 30 quid on items that get chucked in the bin, so <laughs> we to spend that kind of money, why not? You know, why not get the pale blue, the pale pink seats? Pale pink seats, eh? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> but it's an absolute joke. I didn't know I didn't know about Kinnear. Um Well he's I think I think he's been appointed, but he's at least up there with the favourites, him and right. uh, Michael Chopper as well. <laughs> are you joking? No, no, Michael Chopper, Peter Reid are the are the favourites and um which are joking, yeah. Ali McCoyce as well. I don't know they were that had just, just not good enough. The mind at all. I would never have. Yeah, Sam Allardyce. He'd 
Uh, yeah, but I like some other. Bring back Big Sam instead. Uh, yeah, bring back Big Sam any day. But Alan Pardew never. Nah. He's been appointed. He's been appointed, eh? I'm gobsmacked. Sorry, I'm just gobsmacked. Who would you like to see brought in? Anybody but that. <laughs> Anybody but Pardew. I've got a brick in the wall, I've got to ask him if I can have my money back, you know what I mean? <laughs> can I have my brick back, please? <laughs> <laughs> it's a completely nutty waste of my money, haven't I? It's, sorry, man. It's, 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 we're not gonna... Where do you reckon someone goes from here, then? Do you reckon relegation again? I'm looking that way, I mean, I... Unless by some major miracle and Adrian Francis building a wall in front of the goal, then I think we're doomed. Yeah. Donald Trump build a wall, eh? Donald Trump, eh? Uh, Make uh, Sutherland great again? Nah, right, Trump, you, I, I, I didn't think they could be welcome here, would he? Mm. Uh, but I don't, you know, if I can get here, you know, he can build a wall in front of the wall. <laughs> 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 but, uh, League. I'd I say, get rid of Ellis Short, and whoever's taking on Newcastle, put some money towards Sutherland. <laughs> Chip in here as well. <laughs> Might as well. Oh, I'm over the moon for Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, huh? They are, they're doing alright, to be fair, but I suppose it's... They must be laughing at us now the way we laughed at them I know, when, they, when they went down and we stayed up but it's probably worked out for the best them going down but we should have done something like that I think David Moyes wanted to keep it if they offered him money I think they're going to, he said basically the, the, the idea would be to, have to spend a lot of money in the championship just say like what they did well exactly mate because I think that's what you have to do really Aye, you can't, what, what did we spend like 1.5 million or something <laughs> you know what I mean no I imagine Ellis Short shits 1.5 million. <laughs> but, uh, Headline, you know, like a local man, he's uh, done well down there, four years for them, won the double last season, like someone who cares about the club. I'd still rather have Peter Reid back here, passionate about the club, always has been all his life, bringing back to Southern Dad, I'd say. Mm-hmm. Next year? Unfortunately so, mate, I think so, yeah. I think it's heading that way. And then who come back up, or? Oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll Didn't probably, want to know. We'll probably have to sell the stadium and all sorts, we'll be playing on Sunday League pitches or something like that. We'll, we'll see what happens anyway. Mate. Tired of having no money, no prospects in life, interested in the Sunderland job, come on down to the stadium tonight and apply today. <laughs>